What's up, black and white sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, we're going back to the world of sports today. And I guess it's not really about the games itself, but more about the politics associated with the games. Now, we saw the other day, Rose put out a video on this, that the WNBA, their players decided to walk off the basketball court doing the national anthem, which I found to be very, very offensive. Very, very disgusting. Now, WNBA, they only have like two fans anyway to watch it. So I guess they probably alienated their two fans that they actually had. But however, there's a new football league that's going to be hitting the field in 2021. And it is women's tackle football. And uh, Mike Ditka, the former NFL head coach of the 85 Bears, which many people consider to be the best football team of all time, or at least one of them. He's going to be the chairman of the, uh, the Etz league. And, uh, when the topic came up about kneeling for the anthem, this is what he had to say. He said, quote, if you can't respect our anthem, get the hell out of the country. That's the way I feel. Of course, I'm old fashioned. So I'm only going to say what I feel. You don't protest against the flag. And you don't protest against this country who's giving you the opportunities to make a living playing a sport that you would never thought would happen. So I don't want to hear all this crap. And I 100 percent agree with Mike Ditka. We've seen the protests out there and uh, I already told you guys I'm out on the NBA. But uh, a few minutes ago, before I started shooting this video, I saw that uh, one of the games were on. I actually wanted to see this Black Lives uh, matter lettering on the court because the one we actually got to see was from a different angle. So I watched about a minute of that game to see the logo. It's huge. It is absolutely 100% huge on the court. Now, when the regular season starts with the NBA, will players actually kneel? Will they walk off the court? I'm willing to bet that players are actually going to walk off the court or take a knee, even though the NBA has a rule in place that you have to stand up for the anthem when it plays. But however, I don't think the NBA wants to be looked at as racist if a player kneels and then they punish that player. So if a player kneels, I don't think that anything is going to happen to the player. But anyway, back to Mike Ditka, you know, he's old school and he was saying similar things to what Drew Brees was saying. Remember, Drew Brees said that he doesn't have any respect for anyone that kneels for the flag or disrespects the flag. But Drew Brees, I guess he caved into cancel culture and he ended up apologizing not once, but twice. So Mike Dicka, man, he's 80 years old. And I don't see Mike Dicka apologizing for this. But I agree with him, man. I'm ex military myself. And the way I see it is, if it's not about the flag, if these protests are not about the flag, then why are you protesting during the flag, during the anthem? You know, the anthem is supposed to be about a celebration of America. And majority of majority of all the players in the the NBA and also the NFL itself are Americans. Now, I know that the NBA has a lot of foreign players, you know, and if they don't want to respect the flag, oh, oh well, they're not Americans anyway. So but. The only demonstrations we've actually seen is from Americans themselves. So my dick and man, I 100 percent back him on this. If you do not want to respect the flag, if you don't want to stand for the anthem, if you want to take a knee, go to the locker room. Go to the locker room, man. I mean, the NBA is going to find out real, real fast because, you know, they're already doing demonstrations that have Black Lives Matter on the court. The ratings are going to suffer. Because when Colin Kaepernick started kneeling with the NFL, the NFL ratings tanked. It went down. People checked out. Because overall, man, Americans, we are very, very patriotic, no matter what race you are. And it's kind of funny, you know, all these demonstrations and everything is only happening during election years. Have you noticed that? Colin Kaepernick started kneeling in 2016. Now, this year also is probably worse than ever right now. This is an election year also. Of course, you had the George Floyd incident. And now 
uh, far left is uh, burning the country to the ground. I mean, what's going on in Portland and Seattle is just pure, pure insanity. You know, this is all about, you know, destroying America itself. And these sports athletes, man, they're playing right into the hands of the far leftist politicians. This is what they want. If you want to destroy America, if your league is going to support destroying America, I'm not going to be a part of that. And I think I speak for Rhodes also. We we don't want any uh, any part of that. We're patriots. We're Americans. I serve the country. And guys, if it's not about the flag, then why are you kneeling during the anthem? Why aren't you going out there and doing some real change, making some real change out there in the community? Why aren't you doing that? But anyway, guys. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Mike Dicka telling people that want to disrespect the flag and the anthem to get the hell out of the country. And these athletes, you know, that are doing that, they can easily afford to pack up and leave and go to another country that's better than the U.S. But as someone that has traveled all over the world in the Navy, I can tell you this. There is not a country even close to the quality of life of the U.S. at all. I've been everywhere, man. I've been in the Middle East. I've been to Europe. I've been to South America. No other country comes close to what we have here in America, because if America is just so bad and so racist, why do you have all these people from all these other countries wanting to come here? South of the border, right there in Mexico, man, people are trying to cross the Mexican border all the time because we have the best country in the world and people are willing to risk their lives to come over here. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. And we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix out.